the tree of deeds. In a distant land, where the sky kisses the sea and the mountains whisper ancient tales, there was a village that existed in a delicate balance, a reflection of the world at large. This village was known for a peculiar tree at its heart, called the tree of deeds. Each leaf on the tree represented a deed of the villagers, glowing brightly for acts of kindness and dimming with acts of harm. Among the villagers, there was an old sage named Eliyahu, revered for his wisdom and understanding of life's intricate tapestry. Eliyahu knew that the tree of deeds was not just a symbol but a living testament to the collective actions of the community. He would often say, as each leaf can nurture or neglect the tree, so too can each deed uplift or undermine our world. The villagers lived their lives, largely oblivious to the true impact of their actions, both good and bad. But Eliyahu watched the tree with a discerning eye, noting how the leaves reacted to the deeds of the people. He noticed a troubling trend. The tree was slowly losing its vibrancy, its leaves turning pale and some even falling away, a sign of the increasing selfishness and discord among the villagers. Eliyahu knew he had to act, to awaken the hearts of the people before it was too late. So he decided to share the secret of the Tree of Deeds with a young villager named Avi, known for his earnest heart and curious mind. Avi, Eliyahu said one day, Come, let me show you the story of our village, written not in scrolls, but in the leaves of this tree. Eliyahu led Avi to the tree and began to explain the profound connection between the villagers' deeds and the tree's health. Each leaf, Eliyahu said, responds to our actions. When we act with kindness, understanding, and in accordance with the mitzvot, the leaves flourish. But when we stray into selfishness, discord, and forgetfulness of Hashem's ways, the leaves wither. Avi, deeply moved by the sage's words, asked, What can we do to restore the tree to its former glory? Eliyahu replied, It begins with you, Avi. Change must start within each heart. One good deed. One moment of genuine kindness, can inspire another, and so the healing begins. Inspired by this wisdom, Avi embarked on a mission to revive the village's spirit. He started with small acts of kindness, helping his neighbors, studying Torah, and teaching others about the importance of living a life aligned with the divine will. His actions, seemingly insignificant at first, began to ripple through the village touching the hearts of young and old. As days passed, the villagers started noticing changes in the tree, new leaves sprouted, and some of the pale leaves regained their vibrant green hue. The villagers, intrigued by this transformation, began to join Avi in his mission. They started to look beyond their own needs, considering the well-being of their fellow villagers and aligning their actions with the teachings of the Torah. The transformation in the village was gradual but profound. As the villagers embraced the path of kindness and righteousness, the tree of deeds blossomed with an unprecedented vibrancy. Each leaf became a testament to a good deed, a kind word, or a selfless act. The villagers, once divided by petty squabbles and self-interest, now found themselves united in a common purpose, to nurture the tree and, by extension, their own souls. Eliyahu watched this transformation with a heart full of joy. He knew that the villagers had finally understood the deep connection between their actions and the world around them. You see, Avi, Eliyahu said one day, as they sat beneath the tree, each of us holds a power greater than we know. Our deeds are like seeds that can grow into either bitter or sweet fruit. It is our choice, and our responsibility to cultivate goodness in our hearts and in our world. The tree of deeds became a symbol of hope and unity, not just for the village but for all who heard of its story. Pilgrims came from far and wide to witness the miraculous tree, to learn from the villagers, and to take back the message of the power of collective righteousness. As the years passed, the tree's influence continued to grow. The leaves, now luminous and numerous, seemed to sing with an ethereal melody, a song of peace, unity, and divine connection. The village, once a simple cluster of homes, became a beacon of light, a place where the wisdom of the Torah was lived and breathed in every action. 
In the twilight of his years, Eliyahu gathered the villagers under the now magnificent tree of deeds. The tree stood tall, its leaves a symphony of colors, each leaf a story, each hue a testament to the deeds of the villagers. The air was filled with an aura of peace and sanctity, as if the Shekinah itself resided within the branches. Eliyahu spoke, his voice resonating with the wisdom of the ages. My dear friends, what we have achieved here is not just the revival of a tree, but the revival of our spirits. This tree, he gestured towards the majestic foliage, is a mirror of our hearts, a reflection of our collective soul. Each of you has contributed to its health, and in doing so, has contributed to the health of the world. He continued, remember, the balance of good and evil, kindness and selfishness, is in our hands. We must continue to nurture this tree with our deeds, for it is intimately connected to the tree of life, the Etz Hayim, which sustains all of creation. Our actions here ripple through the cosmos, affecting the very fabric of existence. As the sun set, casting a golden glow over the village, Eliyahu imparted his final wisdom. Let this tree be a reminder that every deed matters, every act of kindness counts. We are all leaves on the tree of life, interconnected and interdependent. Let us live our lives in a way that honors this profound truth, bringing us closer to Hashem and hastening the arrival of the redemption. With these words, Eliyahu's soul ascended, leaving behind a legacy of love, unity, and divine purpose. The villagers, now guardians of the tree of deeds, continued to live by Eliyahu's teachings spreading the message far and wide. And so, the tree of deeds stood, a living testimony to the power of collective righteousness, a beacon of hope in a world yearning for redemption. Each leaf, each deed, a step closer to a world filled with the light of Hashem, a world where peace, unity, and love reign supreme. And in this way, the village and the tree continued to thrive, guided by the eternal wisdom of the Torah under the watchful and loving gaze of Hashem.